appreciate that to all the new people stopping by my channel hi you guys make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on that bell notification so you're notified each time I post a video and to all of my returning subscribers hey y'all so today's vlog you guys it is another DIY we are going to be making a backdrop for under $25 with items that I purchased from my local home improvement store. So if you want to see how I build a backdrop for under $25, then definitely keep on watching. Okay y'all, so as mentioned, we are going to be making a DIY backdrop. I purchased all of my items from Lowe's and the only things that I'm gonna be using is the PVC pipe and, a, and the accessories for PVC pipes. I will have all of the, um, instructions down below as well as you know your measurements and things of that nature just know that if you're not able to cut the pvc pipe yourself your local home improvement store can definitely do that for you i had no issues with getting someone to cut it at lowe's and actually some of the pieces were already cut into the sizes that i need so without further ado i'm not gonna hang you guys on let's go ahead and get into building this backdrop Okay, you guys, as mentioned, I went to my local Lowe's and I was able to get the items that I needed. And so right here, I have two five feet pieces of PVC pipe. The measurement is three fourths. So that's what I'm gonna be working with. These pieces right here were already pre-cut. So there was no need for me to bother anybody to get that done. Um, and then I also have some pieces right here. These are four, 30 inch pieces of the 3 4 PVC pipe. Then I also have right here four 12, 12 inch pieces of the 3 4 PVC pipe. I also have some elbow pieces right here. I just need two. I have four end cap pieces or cap pieces, that's what they call it. Then I also have right here four T pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys exactly how I assemble this. Um, like I said, it is super easy and all of this was under $25. So definitely keep on watching. Let's go ahead and get this hey guys, assembled. So I'm getting ready to start with my backdrop and this is how I assemble it. But first I start off with two of my 30 inch pieces and I am taking two of my T pieces and I'm just gonna take one and put it at the bottom like so. Either way is your bottom. And I'm gonna take this and just put it down to the side. Next, I'm gonna take my second T piece and put it on the bottom of this piece. After that is assembled, I'm gonna take my four 12 inch pieces and I'm going to add them to the 30 inch piece with the T piece. So I'm going to do it like so. One on this end and one on the other end. So now it makes a T. If y'all can see that, makes a T. So now that that is done, I'm going to do the same thing on the other piece. Just like so. Once those are finished, I'm going to go in with my four caps. And I'm just going to add them to the ends of the 12 inch pieces. So I'm gonna add those to the ends of the 12 inch pieces. So it's gonna look like so. I'm gonna repeat the same step with the other piece as well. So those are done. So now you basically have your bases. Okay, you guys, so the next thing is super simple as well. I am just gonna go in with two more T pieces. Take your T piece and just add it like this. Okay, 
you guys. And so as you can see, your T pieces are going to be like so. They're gonna be pointing on the inside because we're gonna use this for extra stability with your backdrop. So this is what we're looking like with both pieces. Booyah. So now we are going to add the additional 30, um, 30 inch pieces to these ends of your T pieces. So, like so. All right, so all you did was just add the additional 30 inch piece to this T piece right here, you guys. So after you've added that, we're gonna go in with our two elbow pieces. You're gonna put one on one of your legs, like so, and you're gonna put the other one on the other leg, like so. Just remember that these, again, are your legs, and so you need to make sure that the pieces are going inward, okay? final two steps you guys that is going to be adding your two 60 inch pieces or your two five feet pieces to your legs so we're gonna do it like so I have them propped up against the wall because typically when I am doing my vlogs I'm here by myself so I am just going to go ahead and add the PVC pipe like so just like this. Now, make sure that you hold this because it's not 100% sturdy because we don't have our support piece right here. So now you're gonna go in with your, your second 60 inch piece, so your five foot piece, and you're just gonna hold it like so. I'm holding with my foot. And you're just gonna insert it into this T piece. Like so. Now, as you can see, the backdrop is officially assembled. Let's go in so that way you guys can see exactly what it looks like. Like I said, here's your elbow pieces. You're gonna make sure that they go inward. Here's your five foot piece at the top, your five foot piece in the middle, and then also here's your 30 inch piece right here. Here's another one right here. And then most importantly, your 12 inch pieces that are at the bottom that we're using as bases. Also, it's a very important, and don't forget about those little end caps down there because you want your, um, because you want your backdrop to be in a still motion and you don't want it to move. So yeah, that is what we are looking like for this backdrop. under $25 and hopefully you're definitely encouraged to go to your local home improvement store and get the PVC pipe and the necessary things needed so that way you can have one on your own. As a YouTuber or a small YouTuber in general, you love to have compact things as well as things that are portable and this backdrop is definitely both of those things. So yeah, you guys, that is going to be it for this vlog. If you're going to try to do the DIY backdrop, let me know down in the comments below. If you have tried it, definitely let me know that too. And if you have, shoot me a picture on Instagram. I'll leave my Instagram handle somewhere around here so that way I can see your latest creation. So yeah, you guys, that is going to be it for this vlog. If you like this video, make sure you give it a 
big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell notification so you never miss an upload, you guys. And until next time, you guys, I'll see you on the next one. Talk to you soon. Bye.